Hello world, Calc Programmer one here. Today I wanted to show you a quick overview of the Sonics QMK port that I've been working on along with some people on Discord. The Sonics microcontrollers are common in a lot of lower cost mechanical keyboards and one of the main ones that use this uh, chip are the Red Dragon keyboards. This is a Red Dragon K556 it's pretty common, uh, it's reasonably priced at around $50 to $55, has per key RGB, and uh, you can get it at Micro Center and a bunch of other places. And it has pretty good feeling keycaps, it has good me metal construction. Overall, it's a pretty nice keyboard, uh, for, especially for the price. Unfortunately, the stock firmware, it's not very good. It, doesn't have a direct control mode so you can't control the lights from software which means you can't do things like a music visualizer or game integration or having it sync up with all your other devices so one thing that uh, we were able to do is we started looking at porting the QMK firmware which is an open source firmware for mechanical keyboards and it turns out there were some already some people working on this online and there was a GitHub project that was already ported a good bit of QMK to the Sonics microcontroller. Uh, but it didn't have the support for USB RAW interface, which is what is needed to control the lights over USB from the computer. So that's something that I've added to this port. And uh, I also got it working on this Red Dragon keyboard. So you have to get it supported on every individual keyboard. Uh, deal with like the pin mapping and the matrix layout and all that. So I have it working on this K556. It's running QMK right now and it's going through its basic rainbow pattern. But I'm going to show you how I built the software. Uh, just This isn't meant to be a full-on tutorial, just kind of a demonstration on how to uh, do the basics. And it's not really ready for end-user use yet. Uh, the keyboard still has some issues where if you type on it for too long, it'll double type letters or it'll lock up. And the RGB still has some mapping issues, especially with open RGB. And there's still a lot of flickering going on with the lights. So there are some issues left, but we're making pretty good progress so far. And I wanted to sh just show off that progress. So let's go over to the computer. And uh, we'll just show you how to build the firmware. So I already have uh, SSH'd into a Linux machine and uh, we'll just come down a bit. So what we can do uh, to make the firmware, so I've already checked it out um, the branch is Red Dragon K556 Open RGB um, on my GitHub fork. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description. And I've already set up the QMK build environment, so we're just going to do make Red Dragon slash K556. And so, actually, I didn't build the whole thing. Let's just make clean and then we'll do a make from scratch. And then let's just go over here to FileZilla. I've already SSH'd into the machine over here so We'll just go and go ahead and hit F5 to refresh, and now we have the file Red Dragon K556 default.bin. That's the firmware we want. We're just going to copy that over to the desktop, and now we're going to go over to the keyboard. And I've actually modified this keyboard. I've taken it apart. There's a pin on the microcontroller called uh, boot and you need to short that pin to ground and to put it into boot mode. 
So I've actually wired that out to a pin header on the side. So that's ground. And then that's boot. So uh, boot is now grounded. And now if I unplug the keyboard from the computer and plug it back in, you notice the lights don't come on. That's because it's in boot mode. So I'm going to go over here on the computer and I need to open up the... Oh, that's on my other computer. Let me remote into that real quick. Okay, so we're back. I have the Sonic's USB programming tool open. So this tool uh, lets you flash the microcontroller over USB. So we have to put in the VID and PID. It already, already puts in the VID, which is OC45. But we want to put in the PID as well, which is, I think it's 7040. And now we want to load the file that we just built. So we're going to go over to SN32F24XB. That's the model of chip that's in the keyboard. And then we're going to pick the Red Dragon K556 default that we just built. And now the keyboard is still dark because it's in boot mode. And so we're just going to take a step back here so you can see the keyboard. We'll just hit start. And now the keyboard is running the new firmware. It's running QMK. So we can go ahead and take this out. So it's not in boot mode anymore. And now you'll notice if we power cycle, the keyboard comes right back up running the, uh, the correct firmware. So let's go back to the computer. And let's just close out of that, close out of that. And I have OpenRGB open. So this is the QM, QMK Sonics branch of OpenRGB. The interface for QMK and OpenRGB hasn't been merged yet uh, into either project. It needs to get merged into the QMK project and into OpenRGB. And the QMK developers have said they wanted to kind of take a step back and make sure that we're writing a protocol that's compatible with all programs, not just OpenRGB. So this is sort of development only work and it'll get reworked by the time it's ready to be merged. But well, I have this test branch where we can test it out. So I'll go over here to the pipeline and then build Windows 64 and download and then we'll just go ahead and open that and so I'm just going to open that and copy this to desktop and then we'll go to desktop and we are going to open this QMK version of OpenRGB which should be able to detect this particular keyboard and so let's go ahead and get the keyboard in view a little bit and then open this now you notice the keyboard starts flickering uh, that's one of the bugs right now is anytime it's transferring data on USB the keyboard starts to flicker but we can see that the keyboard is detected. It is a uh, Red Dragon K556 keyboard QMK, and uh, the version isn't showing up correctly right now. So let's go back to devices, and we can do toggle LED view. So this is showing all the lights on the keyboard. If we pick a color, and then we hit, well, actually, let's put it in direct mode first. Um, 
may notice the keyboard has changed to all white. So let's make it green. So let's pick green and then apply colors. And we can see that the keyboard is green. So now we can go ahead and use an SDK application which will use a visualizer. So let's just go to server, start server, and then let's just go over here and I gotta find the visualizer. Where did I put it? Okay, I've got the visualizer open and uh, we'll just go ahead and click connect. Right, so let's put it in, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and click connect. And now, the keyboard is running the rainbow from the visualizer. Let me just go ahead and dim the lights a bit. So as you can see, it's pretty flickery, but the pattern is there. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch the background mode and the visualizer over to color wheel. And so you can see the pattern is moving around in a, in a circle. We've got the color wheel pattern going. And now, uh, let's just put the microphone as our source. And so... I'm going to put silent background so you can't uh, see what we're doing. And now all i got to do is make some sounds. And uh, you can see that the visualizer is working on this keyboard. Um, we can change the delay on keyboard visualizer. Let's go from 25 up to 50. And that reduces some of the flickering, although it's still not very good. It's, it's kind of slow. In earlier tests I had it a bit faster, but I've been playing around with uh, some settings and so it's not perfect and you can see that the colors are a little bit off it should be green on these two yellow and then red but sometimes the colors are changing if we make some more noise uh, the microphone isn't a great source for this but it'll it works so let's uh, just turn off the silent background and then we can okay I've given up on the tripod the phone's just fallen off too many times now Let's see, I wanted to put the background mode at like rainbow bars and then turn off the microphone. Just so, it should be a constant fixed color right now, just red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta. Um, that's the pattern that's being sent. But it keeps flickering and that's that's an issue that we're trying to work out now. But Overall, we have a direct mode. It's not going to mess up the flash. Doing this, it can sit here and do this all day, and it won't ruin the keyboard. Whereas if you try to do this with the stock firmware, every time it updates, it saves it to flash, and that overwrites the flash enough it wears out, and you'll damage your keyboard. So we're trying to work on a direct mode, and this is kind of what we have. And there's some tweaks that I have in mind to get rid of the flicker and improve the speed, but... Yeah, so this is the current progress of QMK on the Red Dragon K556. Like I said, it's not ready for daily use, but it's getting there. So, anyways, thanks for watching.